all right good morning <laughs> super early but um we're uh, gonna pack some gear and get ready to head up to mount laguna we're super excited to meet these people today we're checking out the first legal tiny house community in san diego but there's a lot to pack up so we'll do that first my favorite microphone so far super easy to use rechargeable so you don't need to um swap out batteries all the time which is probably better for the environment that was a lot faster than i thought it would be <laughs> all right set up gopros and then get dressed so just some background on the bikes in case anyone wants to know um clarence is riding his v9 bobber by moto guzzi and i'm riding his 250 ninja which he has modified the crap out of. And so now it looks kind of like a, a steampunk cafe racer. And the thing is, it's pretty old and it used to not run until quarantine. He got it fixed up and I've been riding it. But really my biggest fear for this trip is loose gravel. I took a safety course for motorcycling years ago and it is like ingrained, pun not intended, in my head that loose gravel is the end of you. <laughs> but the bike is holding up well and the roads so far are pretty clean. All right, so we just made it to uh, Pine House Cafe. It's the little um, restaurant on the property of Tiny House Block. And uh, we're gonna grab a quick iced tea before we meet up with John and Melissa, who are the owners. Pretty easy ride, low key. And uh, not as scary as I thought it would be, so. Cheers to that. No, it was a good ride. Did you have a good time? Yeah. I was a little nervous, to be honest. Why? Because I've never really done these kind of roads. I've always oh, just like... Not. Yeah, it was it was mellow. And I've only done like normal street riding, so... Yeah. But if that I was... took you on another road, you'd be scared. But I would never... Oh, which would... one? There's one by this uh, small Indian camp road. I mean, like... There's like a convenience store out of nowhere in the fields just all around it has an Indian uh, statue in front of it and it has super windy roads inside behind mm. it it's my favorite windy I'd road. be I'd be a, such a grandma on there but oh, yeah like 15 mile per hour turns. yeah oh shit hairpin nope not for me Pine House Cafe was originally established in 1942 and the inside looks amazing, like a log cabin for lack of architectural terms, but because of Corona, everyone's sitting outside. We're going to steal Eric and Lawrence away later today, but I can tell you now they are busy. Do you want some of this? It's okay? Yep. Delicious. Good, good Thank good. you. Heart attack is just an afterthought. Our day is just getting started, but we've had an amazing ride, a delicious breakfast, and I already highly recommend riders do this half day trip from San Diego to Mount Laguna and making a stop at Pine House Cafe. And if you want to make it a full day trip, you can also rent a tiny house for a night or two at Tiny House Block. What inspired you guys, you and Melissa, to start this? The way that we got into this was that Melissa has been doing real estate for about eight years, and she started putting tiny houses in the back of some of these properties, and eventually she got busted by a neighbor, someone who didn't like having tiny houses next door, strangely enough and now she had about five tiny houses and no place to put them. So she started doing the research and saw that if she bought an RV park, then she had the requisite zoning to bring in tiny houses on wheels, T-H-O-Ws, and that would fell under the same jurisdiction of a home on wheels. So that's when we found this, formerly called Sunrise Highway RV Park. We purchased it in late 2018, and then we went live in January 2019 with our first tiny house on Airbnb. Oh. For me, the most exciting part is just hearing and seeing the reactions from people, just the enthusiasm, 
Uh, the community aspect is really exciting, especially during the summertime where we'll have bonfires, Memorial Day events. Uh, with what's going on right now, less so, but certainly last year was a really, really busy summer. And it's been nice to really provide a getaway for a lot of people. People have hit a real tipping point, it seems, with enough of the city, enough of being cooped up. So here we present a really nice getaway, beautiful nature, and the novelty of the tiny houses. What's like the future of this community here? Well, interestingly, we just acquired our second location. Congrats. <laughs> yeah, this was about a week ago oh, wow. in Julian. So it was called Banner Recreation Ranch. We're still playing with the name, but right now it's called Tiny House Block Julian at Banner Ranch. And that one has 17 spots in it, yet it's across 62 acres. So one of my responsibilities is to figure out how to get a lot more tiny houses there legally. And there's a lot of options there. We see it being sort of a Disneyland for outdoor activities, whether you have paintball or um, shooting ranges, you know, safe shooting ranges like for archery. Uh, we see this being a real destination for folks to come out for. Uh, this property here is only three and a half acres, so we're pretty much tapped out with what we can do. I mean, with the on-site restaurant we have, and then the 25 spots we have here, and there's a room for some games and rec activities, and the pool we're gonna get going. That's what this one's meant to be. I'm really excited about the Julian one as a next step. Well, pre-corona, I was not up here. Um, coronavirus itself and um, what we had to do as a society to adapt kind of led me out here, actually. Some people commute, some people live up here full-time. Um, but yeah, everyone's, Nice, you know, welcoming to also, also welcoming. As you might guess, tiny house owners tend to be more eco-aware and Nick does his share to help around the tiny house community. I'm kind of working to make the, the sustainability of the, of the community a little bit more aware. Uh, I've got a food to soil compost company that we can do food scraps. Um, so I've started implementing it to a couple people as far as they can use mine and then when I, mine gets too full, basically I just cart the buckets down to San Diego. Also doing a, a little touch on the recycling program here. Nick is living the eco-friendly dream. <laughs> it was great talking to everyone, but we're hungry and now it's time for lunch. We. Oui. The new owners of Pine House Cafe are Eric and Lawrence. Um, the food was delicious. Like breakfast is delicious, but then lunch, yeah. you really start to see that French, French cuisine come out. So I grew up in uh, Brittany, and my husband grew up in uh, the southeast. And then we spent 25 years in Paris, and we had um, a restaurant and a catering business in Paris oh, okay. also. And then five years ago, I mean almost five years ago, we came here in San Diego. How did you find this place? <laughs> uh, we were looking for a restaurant. Uh, we had been looking for one year and a half. So I looked up on the offers, you know, on Bisban, and then this appeared. And so I said, okay, I don't know about La Monte Laguna, but let's go and have a, have a look. Mm -hmm. And then we fell in love. So, yeah, we're a team, but he's a pastry chef. Oh, okay, very good. So, I mean, all about dessert is his. Ah, uh, that's why. <laughs> of course. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Everything is deciding among yeah. us two. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so we work together to, you know, set up the recipes and mm -hmm. everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, people come here to have fun mm -hmm. and to enjoy the day. So it's really enjoyable. I mean, they are relaxed and they, they like to stop here for a while and then go back with their activities. So that's so nice. I mean, it's not, you know, a business, uh, lunch hour, oh, yes. blah, 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 yeah. very quick. So. Yeah, I see it. All right, that's all folks. It was a beautiful day, beautiful lunch, beautiful breakfast, great host and uh, Love this place. Pine House Cafe. Come in, visit, say hi. Great, delicious food, friendly people. Feels like that perfect time for a recap. So we met some incredible people, tasted some delicious food, and saw some unique tiny homes. It was a long day, but a lot was accomplished, and we had a lot of fun. I want to thank John, Nick, Eric, and Lawrence for taking time out of their day to chat with us. 
and welcome us to their homes. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more content, be sure to like and subscribe, and we will see you in the next video.